presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, with your gold report, you're just printing money. I love it. <laughs> Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. No. Tom O'Brien. Wow. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Kicking into Labor Day. Always do your best, but don't overdo. This is a great card, man. When you overdo, you go against yourself and deplete your body. It will take longer to accomplish your goal. And this is, uh, you know, when you go to Ray Kark, folks, he, had, he wrote a 100-page book about the making of McDonald's, and he was 55 when he started making McDonald's. The key is work, 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 and then shut that brain off because then you can get up in the morning and get done what you want. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 652, NASDAQ down 320, SP's off 92, gold contract down $12.50, trading at 1750 an ounce. You get silver down 18 cents, $18.99 an ounce. Late sweet crude down 54 cents, $90.23 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note down 12 ticks, trading 117.22. The 30 year off 19 at 137.28. At the 10 year now is uh, yielding 3%. Once again, folks, uh, high in the last uh, three months, I believe. We, you talk about the swing. Look at this swing. Swing's amazing. So the swing, we're at 3.0. We had a low of 2.5, and we had a high of 3.4. That's in 90 days, folks. And King Dollar, that is on the move. Once again, it's going after its high. King Dollar up 821 ticks at 108.990. The euro is trading at uh, 99, 99 to 1. Get, the, that's to get those euros, folks, to go to the Amalfi Coast, man. You get the pound at 117, and the yen is trading at 137 to 1 U.S. dollar. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and managing director at Direction Chairs, folks. And as you come over to our website, at TFNN, hit that direction banner, and it's going to bring you over. And you are going to see right when you hit that banner out here today is that we have the Direction Daily uh, Tesla bull, a 1.5, a bear, a one-to-one. -one. Dave Mazza, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, happy to be back. Okay, so hey, let's talk, let's talk about um, this Tesla, uh, the 1.5 on the bull side, the one on the bear side, the two symbols, folks, okay? So the bull side is T-S-L-L, -L. the bear side is T S. -L. LS. So if you can walk us through, Dave, how these are going to work, that'd be awesome. Yeah, happy to do so. So uh, we're really excited about the launch of TSLL and TSLS uh, because they provide, on one hand, upside daily upside exposure to 1.5 times to the common shares of Tesla, and then conversely, an inverse exposure on the 1X side. Now, for those folks familiar with Directions products, we know that they're really for tactical traders. You have to ha have the interest and ability to make buy, sell, and hold decisions on a daily basis. Yes. But they actually function exactly the same way. Um, so, you know, TechL is a basket of S&P 500 technology stocks. SoxL, a basket of semiconductor stocks. The difference here is this is just one security. So it's definitely going to be more volatile. It's just, a, you know, a direct relationship. 
with Tesla. But what I, what what we found really encouraging, and and these funds are barely you know a little over a week old, is really a lot of interest already. Um, right. and maybe that's not a, maybe that's not a surprise. Really nice volume in TSLL. Yeah, you know, as folks are looking, especially we know the share split on Tesla's coming this week, looking to position for that to take advantage of the fact that shares have gotten beaten down, took that bounce back, and so we really encourage, you know, again for traders who are interested, have the ability to do that monitoring, put this in their toolkit because maybe you have uh, an interest in in Tesla. Now you can express again on shorter for shorter term views amplified exposure that might be easier than going out using margin or going to go try to uh, price uh, price a call option or even a put option. I'm glad, I'm so glad you just brought that up, Dave, because that's that's uh, my next question. Because check this out, folks. This is really cool. So the Tesla's trading, folks, at eight hundred and sixty nine dollars. So if we look at the the bull side, Dave, right? You know, we started these off at a much lower price, so that means that a lot more people listen. If, um, if you're not a trader, folks, don't trade these, okay? Because it's a daily deal. But for all of us that do, it's really cool, man, because you're talking about $24 versus like 800 and something dollars change. Yeah, so that's a big part of it too. Is that you know you uh, just the share price is more accessible to to retail investors. Um, so uh, that that's that's a big benefit. You know, the uh, there's been a history of stock, stock splits there, and uh, at least uh, on Tesla, that's a conversation for another day. But you know, the idea here is that um, there on one hand, it's been great, and and some for some of the newer upstart brokerages aren't don't offer margin, they don't offer options. Others do. And there's people, uh, you know, that are part of the that, that are dialing in right now that say, Dave, you know, I know how to use options, and, and that's great. Um, but many others, it can be complicated. It also can be costly. So um, that's why I think, you know, these, uh, particularly the inverse, although the the bull funds caught on more, can be really beneficial. Let's say you're a massive bull. Anything Elon Musk does is great. Right. Uh, and there's plenty of plenty of folks out there. But you're, hey, I'm concerned about this earnings season or. I'm not sure if this month's uh, production numbers are going to hit targets. I don't want to touch my long holdings. Maybe, I, maybe I've done really well, right. and I have a ton of embedded gains. But for that one or two-day period, um, I can actually use TSLS to provide me that kind of del delta neutral hedge um, to, ta to, to take advantage of and limit the potential downside that could come without impacting – uh, your long-standing position and and long-term viewpoint on the stock. It's huge. It's huge. And what you also have, folks, is this. And we just brought up the option. So pitch this. I just pulled up an in the money, eight sixty-eight. And the bottom line is it's going to cost you five percent. Uh, uh, and I'm talking about expiration. Uh, oh well, that's the September sixteenth. But the bottom line is it's forty-eight dollars for an in the money call. One. You know, so the, the point's well taken, man, uh, particularly that you know that there's plenty of people with uh, longer range plans and to be Delta neutral just for that day is a huge deal. Delta neutral folks means you won't, won't lose or win. Uh, it's going to be very close just to let the earnings event happen. Well, this is really exciting, Dave. Uh, <laughs> it's a brave new world. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And we're going to be diving into it. You have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to speaking to you next week, Dave. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 630. You got the NASDAQ off 316. S&Ps are off uh, 90. Let's go inside. Well, yeah, no, let's, let's, we're going to look at the market first, okay? Because these are the two different places that, you know, bottom line had brought up last week that I suspect were going. So the first one, we're at. The first one is the gap. And what will get really interesting here coming into the close, and I'll show you this as soon as I finish this, is can this get some juice coming into the close? The second one is going to be where the sign of strength is uh, that comes down on the 27th of July. And that's where we basically had an ABC structure up. We took off, we took off with volume. Okay, so now let's go look at the volumes that are coming in first in the NYSE. So what we have here is you're at Okay, there's going to be light volume, man. So you got 466 right now. It's going to say it's like do a 657 or something, but that's tremendously light volume. Inside the NASDAQ composite, we are dealing with same deal, man. Okay, this is going to be kind of cool. Now watch this. Okay, so now we go back to the SPY. And what we're going to look at here is that the correlation, what we're going into. So... Your correlation, you did 47 million shares. Remember, we hit a high with 59 million. You did 47. So you're coming into the gap had 44. You had 67. We're going to do about 57. You're not going to do the 67. It's going to be, on the first leg down, it's going to be hard to crack this, this, these numbers here, meaning at the 413 level. That's where we are inside it because you can see the way this is set up, the bottom line, that, that was 69 million, you're gonna do 57 million. Uh, now, if we don't hold price at all, that is saying that this next leg is game and yeah, pretty quickly, okay? Um, but I wanna show you something intraday that I suspect we're gonna have a little rally coming into the close, and this is what it is. We take up the, the E-mini, okay? You take a look at it. This has been down all day long. No, not hardly any bounce, but when you take a look at this, the last time that we actually had volume on the way down, it just kept pushing it, is way up here. That is 4,167. That's 27 points higher than we are. And you can see it just kept lagging down, 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 bottom line. So that has a shot to go to that level before we close. If we do that, 
Let me pull up the NQs so you can see the NQs and, and the NQs. If we do that, that's telling me that the first gap will hold at this particular point. If we do the NQs, you're going to see the NQs right there. Last time, this is uh, 13,021. So you're talking about, uh, it, it'd be quite a run if that's what we did into close. But that was the last time that you also had volume on the way down. It just kept down, down, down. So we'll see where it shakes out. Because the correlation, the way the correlation goes is this. We came into the first area. If, in fact, we, at the end of the day, if we have an expansion of volume, that is saying the second area is game, ASAP. If we reject the S&P at that level and we do have a contraction of volume, which looks like we're going to have a contraction of volume, then you're going to see this market pop once again, go after those highs once again, um, and we'll see where we go. It's a, it's a, it's, yeah, it's a very nice market. There's no doubt about that, man. Um, you know, we'll see where this whole thing's going to shake out. So, inside the Dow Industrials, let's take a look inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness out here today. What we have, everything's red. Everything's red. Uh, the, let's see, so, putting the most negative points into it is Microsoft minus 51, Home Depot 51. Goldman 51, Salesforce 48. Uh, the strongest stock in the Dow Industrials is Procter & Gamble and Verizon. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX 100, you got Pinduoduo up 4.5%, Baidu up 1.7%, NetEase up 1.5%, JD.com up 1.1%. Now, those are all Chinese equities, every one of them. Take them down. Netflix down 6%, Align Technology uh, down uh, five and up five percent. Booking.com off uh, five percent, and Match.com off uh, four percent. Uh, so you get we got some numbers uh, out there. Some of the higher volume equities in the market today. These poor people that after these meme stocks, they're getting toasted, roasted, and yeah, they're they're, they're drenched out here today, man. AMC's down seven and a half dollars trading ten fifty. You get Bed Back and the Beyond but down one forty trading at nine sixty. You can see both of those at the very top of the range. Bottom line, you know that money's gone. Uh, you know Tommy brought a great. Uh, point up this morning. This is what which, this is what's pretty intense, right? Let me bring this up because what had happened is this: is that Ryan Cohen, you know, because he had so many shares, he had to tell the market what he was doing, right? So the bottom line is that he told the market what he was doing when you know this was trading at, at sixteen to twenty dollars, and. It's amazing to me that, you know, I mean, I hope some people paid attention, but I know there's plenty of people that probably bought it over that because the last couple of days it went higher than that. And, of course, as soon as it got announced the next day, so first it was announced that he's selling into it. The next day, what does it do? Gap down $10. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> pretty intense, man. I mean, just, yeah. It, it's, the whole thing's pretty heavy. Um, now, let's go to the gold market because this is so intriguing that the if we go look at the GDX and you still have Newmont and Barrick, which is the two largest weightings, um, you know, they they basically have not performed. You know, you get uh, I know you get uh, Barrick up a couple of pennies today, which is huge. It's huge in the context of the dollar being at highs. Yeah, it rejected. Look at this. This is a classic, man. Gold's going, man. It rejected lower price at fifteen eighty eight. It's trading sixteen seventeen. Um, you know, and that's with the dollar at all time highs. Now, not all time highs. Time highs for the, for this this year. That so the way that sets up that that it looks to me, folks, is this: is that this dollar, you know, and now on top of this you have uh, the Jackson Hole meeting. The Jackson Hole meeting—that's where the central banks get together all over the world. This is the first one that's in person, and the last. This is the first one in three years. So this is telling me: see this dollar up here? The high was one hundred nine two ninety four. Uh, it's real possible that, number one, we'll, we'll test that, and I suspect if we do test it, uh, bottom line, it's going to get rejected. The reason I'm saying that is that the 
the gold market, okay, should be like down in a monster way, and it's not. So that's telling me that this dollar is going to back down again. It's also telling me that the SPY is going to probably reject lower price right here. We got another half hour to get a little bit higher. That's the way this seems to be setting up. You just put a couple of these things together, and uh, we'll see where this baby goes. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow. Dow down uh, 624. NASDAQ off 360. Excuse me, folks. 316. S&P's off 89. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Chart allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 647. You get the NASDAQ off 325. S&Ps are down 92. Let's go to our man, Jose, in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Salutations, Tom, from Lakeland. I'm putting on some spaghetti sauce here. It's almost done. I just had, I just, Bridget just made me, I just had some um, Marcella that was insane. I'm so oh, psyched. Yeah. That's good stuff. That's it good is. good stuff. Anytime it, you can get it. It is. Tom, your calls have been so flawless, I'm afraid I'm going to have to suspend all your future vacation days until next February. You can visit <laughs> Bhopal, India during monsoon season <laughs> next March. Yeah, too, yeah, and this is where we really got to watch out. That's the bottom line, exactly. <laughs> Need you on the desk <laughs> all times. Hey, Tom, a follow-up question from my last call. Um, your call on Disney last month, I believe, the stock was under 100. You said this wants 125. I believe you said that. And bing, bang, boom, we were at 125. But my question is, when the stock was before uh, under 100, and I went out and purchased 30 call options, yeah. for example, 
the other side of my trade is the writer seller taking in my premium. If he's using a Ouija board and he's dumb money and you're telling me your ABC swing trading says this is going to 125, I defy anybody to tell me that that isn't dumb money on the other side. Who's no, watch what happens. The, the way that trade goes. This is how this trade goes. This is, this is a great question, man. So watch how this trade goes. You and I, Jose, now we're the market makers there. You bought the call, right? Yeah. What the, this is what, what option market makers do, which is so good at. Picture that um, you have a U, okay? An, an upside down U, make it a horseshoe. Not, make, just make it an, up, an upside down U, right? As soon as you did that, they either bought the stock, okay? And they'll make the spread on that. They, they, they try to stay delta neutral as much as they can, meaning that on the left-hand side of the horseshoe and the right-hand side of the horseshoe is the same deal. And what happens is that they can cover that immediately. Now, if they don't cover it immediately, those are the ones that used to, they used to take out on stretches at the CBOE, okay? But you don't see that happen as much anymore, meaning that they cover immediately. So we're not trading against them. They're either gonna cover that with stock, they're gonna cover that with another spread. They're gonna cover that with something to stay as delta neutral as they can. That's how that works. Oh, I got you. I thought it was a trading against some guy in an igloo no. in June or Alaska. No, okay, no. But I, I, listen, I, I, I get, I know what you're saying, man, but you know, that's how, that's how it works each and every day. You know, and they'll still take some risk, okay? So, but they want to stay as delta neutral as they can. So on each side of that U, okay, I remember being um, when John, John and Jerry used to do a show on TFNN. Uh, him and his brother did one for, no, him and Tom White, Tom, Tom, Tom Howe, because that's who the brokers they were working for. And so I was in his office for quite a bit for a couple years then, back and forth. And I remember him, he would start the, all his traders off every day and the big U, before the market opened would be on the board and they'd all know where they uh, hung out from the night before, meaning where they had to cover, where they had to keep that to, to stay that. They want to make the spread on all of these. That's what they're looking for. So uh, I, I got you. Hey, Tom, I missed the opening growl. Uh, um, you said last Friday things could be deviant in the market and we could go to the next level, but now you're thinking we're going to bounce here. We're down on light volume because I went long some places. It depends on how we close here because the, we're yeah. at the gap. We're right at it. I mean, we're literally four pennies at it. It hit, it's 412.75, we're 412.90. It has to reject it. So, you know, if it doesn't reject it, we'll go down to that next level, man. You know. And which is that? What, what's that next level? The next level on the SPY is uh, 394 to 402. The day, Jose, is the 27th of July. That's the thing to keep your eye on. I got you. All right. Good okay, deal. man. Stay on that desk. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. 877-927-6648. We're gonna, let's, go, let's go over to these NQs again just to look at them because it's coming in for a test right now. And of that low that was generated like 20 minutes ago, let's see what they do with it. Okay, so we got, let's see, it's 3.34. You got four minutes into this. That first low had uh, 9,200 shit, 9,200 contracts. It can it can blow it away because this got 6,000 already. So this will be cool to watch how this shakes out. That's in your NQs. We go into the E minis. Put this up. Going into the same deal. We're going into 24,000 contracts. You've done 19. Now, this is where this is going to get cool, folks. Okay, so check this out. You know, I talk about this a lot when you're going after swing points, right? Now, because what we're going to have here is this. We're going to have higher volume on the 10-minute bar. Now, if this 10-minute bar cannot take out that low on it should take it out because the, we know that the volume's already higher. And if it doesn't, that's going to be a bullish position. That's, that's going to say, guess what? You're going to try to go higher versus lower. This is, this is how this shakes out, man. The, these bars, um, I, I, I actually, you, you get a lot more out of them if they don't hit the swing and you get the expansion of volume. You know? So we'll see where this whole thing's shaking out. 
because you still got four minutes left. You've already done 24,000 contracts and we're going into 24,000. So what it's done already is this. It's done the amount of volume to basically blow that away. Yet, that low that we're talking about is 4133 and on this line down here, we just got the 4135. And now you're at 4140. So that's on your and and that's on your rest in peace. If we go over to the NQs, let's see if they're set up the same way. Put this one in. Okay, NQ. NQ. Okay, so we take a look at the NQ. Put this back. Okay, so the NQ, the low had 9,200 contracts, we've done 9,200, it got to 890, and that low is 888, and now we're at uh, 910. Hey, we're going to see, this is going to be pretty cool uh, watching this whole thing shake out, man. That's the, that's the bottom line, so let's go to uh, John in New York. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Okay. Good. I'm going to Italy in two weeks. Oh, lucky you. What a great and time, huh? 99 the cents. Is great, so it's good exchange rate, right? Yeah. Where, where about you going? It's between Naples and Rome. Oh, that's beautiful. You ever hear Monte Cassino? Oh, yeah. No, I, listen, man, that, that's the area that I'm familiar with. Um, I've never made it uh, higher than that, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty cool, man. So... I'd like to look at Nuggets. Okay. What so, price would you recommend buying it? So is let's it take a now? look. You got NUGT Nugget, folks, is the 200% uh, bull position inside of the GDX or the XAU or the HUI. So let's go over to the GDX because what is happening out there, uh, GDX, is that uh, the bottom line, even with the dollar this high, uh, the GDX is hanging on. Um, Okay, so the low was established at 29 million. We're at 8 million. I'd buy it right here, man. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you can put a stop underneath it. It doesn't get much better than this, meaning risk reward, because the high volume low that you have um, on the is uh, 2437. We hit 2487 today. Yeah, just just stay right there. We got a quick break. We'll be coming right back. Okay. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow's down at 630. Nasdaq's off 324. S&P's off 91. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 666, NASDAQ's off 336, S&Ps are off 94. We're talking with uh, John, and we're talking about uh, the nugget, folks, okay? So, John, let's go. To what I want to do here, you know, you get Newmont and Barrick, okay, which are the two biggest weightings, right? So Newmont, you get smoke beyond belief. Now, that being said, what happens here today um, is that Newmont got to 42.88. You know, it has to get above 44, and we're at 43.66 right now. There's, it doesn't look to me like there's any more sellers in Newmont. That's the bottom line, you know, because the way the, the way this is set up right now, you can see the contraction's pretty amazing. I mean, you're talking about 4.7 million today. Friday, we did 8 million. And, you, you know, we were going into 36. So that's telling me that you don't have sellers. We don't have buyers yet, but having no sellers is a good start, okay? Mm -hmm. If we look at Barrick, uh, bottom line, this, I'm surprised this, I, I own this, and I'm still surprised that this uh, worked out like this today, you know? Barrick has a gap at 1561, and it didn't fill it. It went to 1588 and rejected the lower price, and that's light of volume. So, and then it has volume up at uh, 1678. So the way that sets up uh, is telling me that wants higher price, man. So I think this is not a b bad entry point for the nugget, particularly because, you know, you're just going to put your stop right into the... Don't give this breathing room, man. There's no reason to give it breathing room. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Cooking, brother. Thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Okay, so let's get over to the indices again because I, I believe they're blowing out the lows right now. We take a look at the NASDAQ first. And the NASDAQ is down 382. And we just made a new low. So the first low was 888. And we hit 884. Uh, and you can see what happened here. This is kind of intriguing. The first, the 10 minute bar that we were talking about didn't get to the low. Um, so this is still kind of, you know, in game. Um, and we'll see what this one does. So that number there, the 12,888 is something to keep your eye on. As is, and we go over, when I just look at these E-mini, I mean, E-mini so, so close to, you know, being down 100 points anyway. It's like, you know, if we call our man, Mr. Basil Chapman up, he's going to say, yeah, it's, it's going to go to an even deal, man. I mean, <laughs> that's because kind of how they likes to trade. So you're down 99 points right now. Same thing happened here. That you, you know, you didn't have volume before the. Look at that when he opened this up. This is pretty cool, actually. So pitch this. You came down, with thirty-eight thousand contracts didn't break the low. The low had twenty-four thousand. Now we broke the low, and we already have twenty-four thousand, and that's only in five minutes. So we'll see how this baby shakes out. Of uh, has it hit thirty-one fifty? Yeah, so we got it down 100. It was down 100. It was just barely down 100 and, uh, you know, trying to make its way back. Let's go into the indices for a second. So indice-wise, yeah, see, you still shot volume, man. See this 504? What we did do on Friday is this. You had an expansion of volume, which totally makes sense because of the, of the aspect of Option expiration. I know what we want to do. This is what we want to do. One second. I got to go. We want to go back. I want to see what else this is going into besides that gap. Not besides the gap. I want to see right here. 
So the gap, this is the day we actually want to look at. What's that? The third, is that August 3rd? Yeah, August 3rd. Okay, August 3rd, 4th, and 5th. What we're looking for is this, MV. We want to see what the volumes are, August 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Okay, so this is going to, be, going to be short. You know, if it doesn't hold price, that means low you go. But the bottom line is that what you have right here, you can see this. The 3rd, we did 899 million. The 4th, 912, and the 5th, 858. And that's shot volume. So you need both. You need lighter volume and the rejection of lower price. Now, let's go into the composite, the NASDAQ composite, third, fourth, and fifth. Look at the same thing. Third is 5.6 billion, 5.3 billion, 4.8. You're only at 3.5. Yeah. Bottom line is that that's telling me that you aren't going to go directly down to that second spot. Because the, the reality is that you don't have enough sellers at this particular point. You know, if we do reject lower price, it would be easier to basically, you know, say that, okay, that'll happen right now. But let's go to the XAU and the HUI inside the gold market because there's no doubt that with the dollar still at highs, uh, bottom line is that uh, this is, you know, they've rejected lower price out here. And what we're going to see, first we'll do the XAU. What you're going to see inside the XAU here is that we had volume on Friday. So Friday we did 33 million. You're going into 35 million. You're going into 44 million. Today's going to be less. So this is, this is a setup. This is going to be so deviant. It's insane, man. HUI. Because this is a set. This is telling me, hey, we'll, we'll see her shakes out. But this, this setup here um, is telling me there's going to be a turn in the market here. The reason I'm saying that is that it's actually blowing my mind that these goals like aren't like just really that they just didn't really take us to the cleanest this morning because so look at this let me see this for a second okay so we had on friday inside of the gold bugs index we did 25 million you're going to 27 million and 30 million. I rejected lower price out here. It's gonna have really light volume today, man. So my, my point is this, is that when you look at the broad market, we, we know we're, we're getting the pullback, we're expecting a pullback, because you know, bottom line is that you know, the acceleration up was pretty dramatic. But because of the way that the dollars at highs and gold's not moving, meaning getting really crushed. Actually, let's go look at the, the, the contract, because the contract also had, uh, see, this is interesting, man. So check this out, folks. The contract at 7.30 this morning, because I remember this so well, already had 79,000 contracts. Well, we're only at 135,000 contracts, man. That. At, at 79, at 7.30 in the morning, I expected this contract was going to have like 250,000 contracts. And guess what? You're only at 135. So the 135 is going into your strength from the 27th. Uh, June 27th, that's where all of these were coming into strength. That's how we had got off the low the last time. So the way that seems to be set up, again, I'm going to go back to the dollar. I'm going to go back to the aspect that I don't think that dollar is going to hold the highs. And if the dollar doesn't hold the highs, uh, it will give gold breathing room uh, and the market breathing room. Let's go take a look at the oil contract. So we got to, let's see, where's that active contract? Okay, so we take a look at the oil contract out here. This is the active contract. This is interesting because this rejected lower prices. It's only and there's no one trading futures out here, evidently, in the, in the soft market. Well, let me see this. Let me go to, actually, wanted to look at the XLE, too. As soon as we come back, we'll look at the XLE. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 633. NASDAQ's off uh, 327. S&P's off 91. We'll come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go take a look at the XLE out here for a couple of the Tigers. So the XLE right now, we... Okay, so you're at 7926... Take this swing out. Looks like it's building cause. Convening for higher price. Put this on a weekly for a second. That week there, 104, 6 million, 109 million. Yeah, this is, this is gonna try to make it through, you know, that big downdraft out there. That's how it looks right now. And, you know, if we go back to the oil market, it's intriguing, you know, you got the uh, Saudi oil minister out there, you know, saying that uh, lack of liquidity and the futures market uh, is giving them a hard time and they may be forced to cut production. You can see this, this is intriguing, man. When I just brought this, I didn't realize, you know, I had to look again to make sure I had the live contract up, meaning, uh, but the bottom line is that no one's trading oil, man. <laughs> and look at this, you only got 13,000 contracts out here today. So we'll see where the whole rest of it shakes out. Uh, broad market wise, let's go take a look at this and see where we're gonna stand out here. So in the indice volume, the uh, inside the NYSE first, we are at uh, it's chart volume, man. In the 539. This is the same we're gonna bounce. Uh, in the Q's, same deal, yeah, at 3.7. So, you know, you very well could get a little turnaround Tuesday out here. And so, what's gonna be intriguing on this is that okay, so now we know that would come down with lighter volume. It's my take that you'll get a smaller bounce. Why? Because before it goes down to the 50% retracement. 
the bounce is going to be really important because if the bounce is on a contraction of volume versus what we just came down on, well, that's going to be an ABC structure down into that SPX of, I believe, July 14th. That's the day I'm, we're looking at, I think. That's the breakout day, which is also a 50% retracement. July 27th. That's how, that's how this thing, baby's shaking out. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks. Building